All right, what's going on, everybody? Uh, Hunter Doyle back at it again for another film breakdown for Philly Insider Podcast. Um, I did a Rudy Ford film breakdown earlier today that I, I really enjoyed doing. He's one of my favorite players. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Doing another one. This is going to probably release late at night, but thank you for all the support. You guys can watch it in the morning before the game as well. Um, and this one's going to be on Travis Fulgham, as you can see by the title. So Fulgham got his, uh, his, he made his Eagles debut last week. He played really, really well. I was, I was impressed with him. You know, only had two catches, but I, I think his value kind of goes beyond, um, beyond the film room or not the film. Sorry, beyond the the box score is what I meant. Um, but yeah, I, I was very impressed with him. Not only just his routes, but also, you know, he wasn't perfect. Obviously, no one's going to be perfect in um, one of their first. Like he hasn't. He's only played three NFL games. This was his fourth. You know, he he, had, he didn't play many snaps last year. Young guy. You know, you're, you're gonna you're gonna feel a little butterfly sometimes. You're not gonna be perfect. But I thought for his his first like full, pretty much his first full NFL game. I know he played one last year with the Lions, but like Eagles debut, one of his first full NFL games. I thought he played really really well. I would like to see him get more snaps this this Sunday versus the Steelers. So yeah, we're just gonna be over going over some of this film, and yeah, I hope I hope you guys enjoy it. So give me give me any feedback. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. But yeah, let's jump right into this. So first play we're gonna go over is the touchdown. I know, um, <laughs> pretty basic, but yeah, I mean that, that was his biggest play of the game. So I thought we could go over it first. So first off, you're gonna see him. He's gonna be at the bottom of the screen, just running a simple go route here, um, a nine fly route, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, pretty simple. He's getting pressed on the line and this is a pretty nice route by him. I mean, he, you know, he's not going to really wow you with his route running or his speed or anything. You know, he's more of a typical X receiver. I believe he's six foot two, two twenty pounds. So it's going to use more of his size and leverage to kind of get open. So you'll see on this play, I have it set to slow motion so you guys can kind of, um, kind of watch it, uh, slowly, but you'll see here, he's going to take a good step off the line, start stemming outside. You get that outside leverage. Right here at the bottom of the screen, you're going to see Dante Johnson kind of try to bump him, and, and Fulgham does a good job kind of swiping those hands away just to get a little leverage. He gets a step on him when Johnson tries to swipe at him, and he's already, you know, obviously got a step. He's kind of using his length here. He gives him a little, you know, little nudge um, on the outside shoulder. Not really a nudge, but he's just kind of like, um, he's just kind of like Dante Johnson's trying to reach for him, and he's just kind of like bouncing off of that, using his size to just get, get more forward. And then you'll just see like the, the body balance and control here to stay in bounds um, after Johnson tries to knock him off stride as well. Um, look at this body balance. Look at the control going into the end zone. I mean, he maintains consistent speed after he gets bumped through here. So I'll play it in full time. Like he's maintaining consistent speed down the sideline. Even when he's getting bumped, he's still moving forward. Gets off the line really nicely. As I said, this is the biggest play of the Eagles season so far. I mean, he struggled with this route. I watched this film. He struggled with this route earlier in the game on the outside part of the field. Um, kind of got kind of got locked up by the press coverage, but this time um, he doesn't. He, he makes adjustments, still swiping those hands away. And something I want to point out: obviously, Fulgham's using his leverage and his technique to like get open, but um, but Wentz Wentz makes a beautiful throw here, and I want you to see where Wentz throws it. So Wentz Wentz has let the ball go. Um, he's letting the ball go right about here. So when you guys see like he's right here. Um, and, you know, obviously you can see he's not open right now. This isn't like the smartest throw. Wentz is right here. Obviously he's in the pocket, but I just want to point him out. He's letting the ball go right there. So he's thrown with a ton of anticipation. You know, he missed, he missed a similar throw like this to Miles Sanders. That was a slant, a slug-o route, slant and go. But he missed that throw. A little bit better mechanics here. Throws with anticipation. Puts trust in his receiver, who he hasn't played with at all. I mean, he probably hasn't been getting practice reps with this guy. So this is a huge play. I mean, just to put your trust in a receiver like that, great way to start off this game for the birds. I mean, couldn't have done it any better. Great job by Fulgham. Great start for this game. Next, we're going to go over the two-point conversion the Eagles uh, went for um, after their first touchdown in the game in the first quarter. You know, so a lot of people disagree with this call. I kind of liked it just like in a game like this, just, you know, get a little bit of an edge, and it ended up being huge and kind of showed like maybe, maybe we're seeing that old Doug Peterson. But anyway, we're talking about Travis Fulgham in this video. He's at the bottom of the, the, the screen in the slot. So he's not outside. That's John Hightower. He's in the slot right here. Um, so this is an RPO. So at the top of the screen, you can see um, Greg Ward is going to be running a slant inside. And he's going to try to um, try to pick this guy right here that I'm circling. He's going to try to try to he's going to try to pick him so that Earths right here can get outside on this flat route. 
Now, um, it's, it's an RPO because you have those two guys running routes, and then you have the option to run with Miles Sanders up the middle on, I believe, just like a little inside zone run. And then at the bottom of the screen, you have these two receivers. They're just run blocking. That's what an RPO is. You have um, guys run blocking on one side of the field, uh, or wide receivers that is run blocking on one side of the field. Other side of the field, you have routes, and then you have your running back, obviously, in the middle. That's the run part of it, run pass option. Um, and so Wentz ends up throwing it, obviously, to the flat. Um, I'll let that play out just so you guys can see it. Wentz is going to end up throwing it. The pick route works. Wentz is going to end up throwing it uh, into the flat here. So as you can see, Greg Ward on the slant, or it's just wide open. But again, talking about Travis Fulgham. So I want to show you guys him at the, at the bottom of the screen here, right in the slot, like I said. So that's where he is. And just like, just play into the whistle, man. I mean, he's, for, he's pretty ferocious in his run block in this game. And that's what you like to see out of a guy like this, like playing as hard as he can. He knows, you know, I, this is like one of my only opportunities that I've gotten to, to play significant time in the NFL so far. I'm not going to waste this. And you'll see down there, I'll play it right now. Um, just like, I don't, I don't know which corner is on him. I can't tell right now, but um, look at him blocking to the whistle. This, this play is already over. He's blocking the whistle all the way to the back of the end zone. I mean, this is the stuff you, you only get to see on all 22 again. Just look at that. I mean, getting in his chest, pushing him all the way to the back of the end zone, completely out of the play. Everyone else is relaxed, and Travis Fulgham is throwing this guy to the ground. <laughs> He's not having it. Um, but you just love to see that. So I just wanted to point that out. Mad props to Travis for that. Um, just, just a great job, great heart and hustle by him right there. Moving forward with uh, the Travis Fulgham breakdown. This play, we've got the 49ers in their standard cover three. So you're going to see here you have your three guys playing over the top. Sorry, I just realized um, – this, uh, this line at the bottom was completely off, so I apologize about that. But, yeah, so you're going to have your three guys playing in, um, over the top in, in deep zones, and you're going to have four guys underneath just playing um, the two guys in, going to the outside flats and then the two guys in the middle playing um, middle zones or, like, hook curls, like, like you call them. So with all that said, I'm going to clear that, but um, the, the cor well, I'm going to clear most of it. But um, – the corner, the corner on the outside is, is going to be playing, obviously, in a deep third, like I just said. So that's what he's doing. He's playing a deep third to that side of the field. And so that's his responsibility. That zone back there, you know, he, can't, he has to go back. Um, so Travis Fulgham is lined up right on him. I'm not going to go over any of the other routes on this play. I just want you to see Travis Fulgham. But he is right there. That's Travis Fulgham. And what he does in this play is he does a good job of stacking. We like to say stacking the corner. And I'll show you what that means. So the corner is um, he starts out in his route, and he's going to be trailing sideways. So I'm going to put it in slow motion because there's that thing that comes down. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but it kind of blocks the top of the screen, unfortunately. But, um, but yeah, so let me do that real quick um, and get this play started. I'm going to put it in slow motion just so it'll go a little bit easier. Um, let me show you first step off the line, too. And here we go. He's retreating into his deep zone. Um, good first step off the line by Travis. Sorry. This is, again, I told you guys this was going to be a little, a little troublesome trying to figure out the, um, the controls on this. But anyway, <laughs> I think I got it figured out now. So you guys know he's trailing in deep third, so I just erased that. Hurts motion's over. Carson's ready to snap it. The 49ers motion back over, make some adjustments, and then they're just going to send a regular four-man rush, so nothing crazy here. See the corner at the top of the screen? He's trailing, and he is sideways. So what you want to see from Travis here is you kind of want to see him get – he's getting – you see, so this corner is, you know, he's got his head turned right here, right? That's not a, that's not a great thing. Um, it's, not, it's not really like he's not doing anything wrong, but – um, it's just not really a great position where we want to be. So, so Travis goes and, and stems outside to attack that, and then he's going to come back on this route. Um, sorry, I know drawing is terrible. But um, let me see if I can get a little bit better drawing. But, yeah, so he's going behind the corner. He's stacking the corner. That's what it means. He's going behind him. And obviously if the corner is looking over his shoulder trying to see where he is, and he's also responsible for playing the deep third. He can't really be biting on this underneath routes. So Travis is going to have um, an easier time. Coming back on this route, he's going to turn on a dime. You'll see him. He slows up so quick and changes his direction. It's a really nice route. Um, a lot of people forgot he had this route because he had the touchdown catch, and the, I don't 
I think a lot of people didn't know who he was when he made the the first catch. Shout out to me and Dan. We both we both did know who he was. Uh, we talked about him in the 49ers preview, actually. Actually, the 49ers um, review or, like, recap um, during the week. But, um, but yeah, this is a 12-yard completion again. So I want you to watch the top of the screen. Um, I'll rewind it so that the, the little – the game scores at the top don't get in the way. But you guys have seen everything up to this point. And then right here, slows up so quick, just turns on a dime. Carson throws it with anticipation right here, catches it. And then he's going to get a few yards after the catch. Good job of stacking the corner again on this play and stemming outside um, behind him because of the technique the corner is playing. Really great job by Travis Fulgham. Was very happy with this play. All right, I'm not going to go too, too in depth on this one. Um, just Travis Fulgham blocking again, you know, um, doing what he can for this team. And this is Miles Sanders, I believe, had been motioned out um, of formation. So Carson was trying to see what the coverage was. And I believe he he's got what he wanted and saw what he believed was man coverage. Again, didn't analyze this play because I'm just looking at Fulgham. But um, so he's going to, because of what he sees and the adjustment he makes, um, he's going to he's gonna just have Miles go on a little swing pass, fakes the pass to him at first to get the defender in the air. He comes on a blitz, and then he gets it, flicks it out to Miles. And you're going to see Fulgham, he's going to be blocking on this play. He's at the bottom of your screen right here. And I'll let it play out a little bit. Um, so I don't have to push the slow motion button this time, thankfully. But um, you'll see right here, you can see Miles gets the ball. And you'll just see Fulgham blocking there, you know, doing his job, good, being a good teammate, um, looking, for, looking for any way he can help this team, you know. Um, and, you know, if he doesn't get – look, if he doesn't get this block right here um, – or at least like getting Jason Barrett's way. Jason Barrett is going to have, um, he's going to have a clear line to get the Miles Sanders. So it wouldn't be as big of a gain, you know. Um, again, like nothing, nothing too crazy, but um, you know, just doing what you can to get those every single yard, the uh, extra yard. It always my count there is at the bottom of the screen. And I'll play it again. Turns into a huge game for Miles Sanders. I believe it ended up being like 28 yards or maybe 20, maybe 20 yards. Sorry, not 28. But, yeah, just wanted to point that out from Fulgham on that play. Nothing too crazy, but love to see it. Next up, we've got a, a trap run concept, I believe, here with Jason Kelly, Kelsey, sorry, not Kelly, pulling in the middle um, at center. He's going to – so, as you can see, I'm going to point arrow to it. But right here, you're going to see – everyone else is just blocking straight, but you can see I put in this little diagonal for, for Kelsey because um, the right guard, Nate Herbig, is going to take on the man in the middle in front of Kelsey. Kelsey's going to come around and pull and get that second level linebacker. Very well executed play, actually, outside of Jack Driscoll, who, who kind of messed this play up. Um, so I'll let you guys see what happens. Um, Fulgham is going to be on the outside at the bottom of your screen, and I'll show you what he does in a minute. But um, you can see he's going up to the second level of the block as well. Um, so I just want you to see what happens. I'm going to point out a quick thing with Jack Driscoll here, too. You can see right there uh, in the offensive line. So Jack Driscoll just tries to shove this guy and um, – Everyone else is blocking perfectly, you can see, except Driscoll shoved this guy right into Miles Sanders there, and the play ended up breaking down. But we are here to talk about Travis Fulgham. So let's go to the bottom of the screen. So here he is right here in case um, it wasn't clear. He's right there at the bottom of the screen. And first off, if this was a route, he does, I, his job is to get to the second level on this play, um, at least from what I understand. Um, that's what it looks like, at least. So he's at the bottom of the screen again. So as you can see, he's going to get jammed at the line. He's a good job swiping those hands away. Um, if this was a route, that would have been a really nice job. And then look at him get to the second level here. So, again, I'm going to just point him out just to make sure you're watching him. Just keep your eyes on him as he goes up to make this block and just how he finishes it, too. Like, playing to the whistle once again. We've talked about this um, during this film breakdown already. But, like, just I'm, I'm going to speed it up, too. Just look at him playing to the whistle, man. I mean, look at him. He <laughs> So ferocious. I mean, I think that's the, that's the word I like to use for is just ferocious. He's just a dog down there. I mean, he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to give up or, or quit. Look at him right here too. Fly into that whistle. He just wants. He just wants some. Uh, he just wants all the smoke, you know. So, um, so every single play, just given full effort, um, like the run concept by Dougie P in there too, and it was just not executed right. But yeah, I mean, gotta love that from Fulgham. Gotta love the heart and passion you're seeing from this guy. That you know. Sometimes you don't see from every receiver. Um, we've, had, we've had receivers in Philly who we haven't seen it from before, but great to see this from Fulgham. So on this play, we've got Fulgham at the bottom of the screen here. Um, he's just going to be a decoy. They're going to run a screen pass to Ertz, which I'm not really going to cover too much, but um, just looking at Fulgham, 
um, at the bottom of the screen here. He runs a really nice out route um, or a fly route, sorry, not an out route, but he, run, he does a really good stem to the outside as well. So I'll slow it up for you guys, but um, here comes the motion man. Um, I think it's Greg Ward or Adrian Killens, one or the other, but you can see right here at the bottom of the screen, um, just takes a good, good step inside, plants, gets outside, um, fights through a little bit of contact there, um, and is just going upfield, selling this route purposefully too. You know, he knows he's a decoy, but he's selling it purposefully. And then once he sees this, this cornerback realizes that that this is um this is a screen pass to Ertz and that Ertz has the ball. Look at Travis Fulgham up here um, right now. I'm gonna point the arrow to him again, um, just because I want to make sure you guys see him. So right down here. Just look at him blocking again. I know this has just been a recurring theme throughout this video, but like, you love to see it. I mean, look at him finishing this block. Look how far he's getting upfield. He's getting into his chest, um, getting leverage on him, raising up. Um, just like getting getting tenacious out there. I mean, he, you can tell he wants to be out there. He's still looking to block right now. He's still ready. He's still he's still pushing him around and everything, getting in his face. I mean, look at that down there. You just love to see it. I mean, you you know, we haven't had too many receivers with that type of attitude, right? like recently and I don't know I it's just kind of refreshing to see it. I'm trying to see if we can see from this this angle at all it doesn't look like it but like it's all it's just so refreshing to see like again just looking for looking for ways to, to help his team so I'd love to see that last play we're going to cover on Fulgham comes in the third quarter this is the third and eight this is where Carson was um was running to the pile or not pylon um the first down marker and I think they reversed the he stepped out of bounds but focusing on Fulgham on this play um, the 49ers are going to send pressure um, up front, and so that means the middle of the field is going to be open. Ful the corner covering Fulgham down here, um, who you can see Fulgham right there, that's the corner who's going to be covering him, um, is going to be giving outside leverage. So he's going to be allowing him to get in the middle of that field, which is, um, you know, obviously favorable for for Fulgham. So you're going to see him get into his route here um, to start. Just uh, gets a good burst off the line, obviously, um, as he should. As you can see right here, just look, rounds a little bit, so it plants his foot, gets a good break into the middle field. Um, if Lenz has time to throw that, he's going to have plenty of real estate there, and that's a that's a really nice catch in the middle of the field um, for for a first down. So another good route by Fulgham here. You know, like I said, I didn't go over every Fulgham play. He wasn't perfect. It was his one of his first times getting full, like like a full workload of snaps. He's an undrafted free agent who used to live overseas, who didn't start playing football until his junior year of high school, didn't get recruited by any schools, walked on to Old Dominion at D1, and then, you know, kept working hard, started to get playing time. By his senior year, he had doubled his, his production from his uh, sophomore and junior year combined, and um, he stopped to play. And, you know, then he, he goes, goes to – have like a, a thousand yards and nine touchdowns in his senior senior season, I think. Becomes um, him and his teammate uh, O'Shane O'Shane uh, Zimenez on the who's on the Giants now. Um, both become the first Old Dominion players to ever get drafted. Fulgham goes to the Lions. Um, pretty makes the makes the opening day roster too. Eventually gets sent back to the practice squad. Gets called up later in the year. Doesn't get targeted a ton. They have a stacked receiving core, so he didn't really get a ton of playing time. Um, there was like one game where he got significant snaps, and you know, obviously, he doesn't have chemistry with a lot of those guys he's playing with. You know, gets cut, um, goes to the Packers for ten days, gets weighed by them. Eagles pick him up for the summer. I'll admit, I, I thought I didn't think he was going to be cuffed around. I thought they were just bringing him in for another training camp body. You know, comes in, impresses uh, the, the the training camp uh, beat reporters and all them. We're talking very highly about him looked like he was you know he had good size was using um, his size to his advantage getting leverage uh, using good technique and he makes the practice squad over some other guys who um, were younger and many people thought might be kept around and he's the extra receiver in the practice squad injuries happen he gets a shot makes the game winning catch um, and you know has a good debut so he's been overcoming the odds his whole career very impressed with him so like again the, for him to play like this Obviously, like I said, wasn't wasn't perfect. There were some snaps where he definitely, um, you know, could could have been a little bit better. But like again, um, first time getting significant snaps. So very impressed by him. Looking forward to seeing what he does versus the um, Pittsburgh Steelers with the, who has a, they have a good secondary. They play cover three decent amount. So the 49ers. So um, he might just be 
be doing more of the same stuff this week. So yeah, maybe big routes behind the linebacker and stuff like that. But thank you guys again for watching. I really enjoyed doing Rudy Ford and Travis Holcomb. Was going to do Richard Rodgers this week, but it's just kind of getting too close to the game. Maybe next week if he plays well again, I'll do some. But yeah, he was good at run blocking and you know releasing off the blocks and the, and the passes and stuff. So keep an eye out for something like that or another tight end. Maybe Jason Kroon, who just got elevated from practice squad, or I got I don't know if he got signed back to the roster officially, but um, him maybe Keem Butler. We'll see. But yeah. Thank you guys again for watching so much. I really appreciate all the support on the channel. You guys have been amazing. And this is just like really cool because um, breaking down football film is something I want to do for a long time. And I've kind of um, thought about it for a while and now I'm actually starting to do it and um, get used to it. So I really appreciate all the support. I hope you guys are doing well whenever you're watching this and yeah, run, baby, run, fly, Eagles, fly. God bless you guys.